The mutated virus has infected the UK economy. Due to the tough lockdown, the UK is facing another recession. In addition, Brexit will cost British exporters billions. There are no longer any traffic jams at the border crossings, but the Brexit paperwork is likely to weigh heavily on the British export industry in the current year. Since the beginning of the year, they have had to prove that the products were predominantly manufactured in the United Kingdom for duty-free export. There are also many non-tariff trade barriers such as health and safety certificates, certificate, certificates of origin for products and in some cases new fees. VAT is now charged on EU imports and exports. A good 250 million customs declarations have to be completed annually for trade with the EU. Anna Boata, head of the macroeconomics at Eula Hermes, complains that around every fifth truck is turned away at the canal crossings. The credit insurer has calculated how much Brexit is slowing the British economy. Accordingly, as a result of Great Britain's exit from the European Union, exporters in the Kingdom can expect losses of between 12 to 25 billion pounds. That's the equivalent of 3.5 to 28.1 billion euros. This corresponds to a loss of 0.6 to 1.1 percentage points of annual GDP. The total volume of UK exports to the EU is estimated at 165 billion pounds. In addition to the increasing bureaucracy, Euler Hermes sees weak demand and the devaluation of the British pound as the greatest negative factors caused by Brexit. According to their forecast, the British currency is likely to lose 3% of its value this year. In 2021, Euler Hermes estimates that British economic output will only grow by 2.5% due to the Brexit transition period and the pandemic. In the first quarter, GDP will collapse by 5.5% compared to the previous quarter and plunge the UK into another recession. In the past year, the British economy is expected to have shrunk by 11%. The companies that trade in mineral and metal products are likely to suffer most from Brexit. According to the study by Euler Hermes, machine builders, electrical appliance manufacturers, transport equipment companies and the chemical and textile industries are also most affected. Despite the drop in sales, however, concerns about an interruption in the supply chain are less justified than previously assumed, the study continues. A recent survey on the supply chain found that British companies are already trying to relocate their supply chain closer to their home country. More than a third of them are looking for domestic suppliers. Conversely, the burdens on the European export economy are not as great as originally assumed. Euler Hermes puts the losses for EU exports to Great Britain at 10 billion euros. Originally, the credit insurer assumed charges of about, let, what was it, 18 billion euros. The six month transition period creates planning security and Halves export losses, explained Euler Hermes. The German export industry is hardest hit with losses of around 2 billion euros. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson has dismissed the delays that are currently occurring at ports and borders due to new controls and clearances as transition problems that will soon be resolved. EU Brexit negotiator Michel Barnier agreed that mishaps, problems and breakdowns could be resolved over the next few weeks and months. In the Financial Times, however, he also emphasized that both sides would have to get used to the new necessities. This agreement will not be renegotiated. It must now be implemented, said Barnier. The EU is the UK's main trading partner. A good half of British exports goes to the EU. The UK mainly exports cars and oil, pharmaceutical products and gas turbines to the EU. However, the pact with the EU does not include the full extent of the service sector, which makes up around 80% of the UK economy. The future looks bleaker for companies in this area that re really rely heavily on doing business with the EU. And if you want to stay informed, please subscribe to my channel and my other channels. I'll see you on my next video. Auf Wiedersehen.